Salamat pagi kwan kwan saya, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Kabar baik? Apa, boleh kamu faham saya? Tidak boleh? Oh, uh, orang di sana, boleh kamu faham saya? Tidak boleh? Oh, hmm. Saya fikir mungkin Dave Wolfert dalam live stream boleh faham saya. Tapi dia bukan di sini sekarang. Hmm. Como se chica bahasa Inglis? Yes. Mau bahasa Inglis? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Is, wait, is this better? Yes. Oh, okay. Wait, could you not understand me? No. no. Oh, well, that's weird. I was speaking Malay. So do you, not, do you not know the language of Malay? Well, wait a second. You couldn't understand me? Oh, this is so strange. Do you know that something similar like this happened in the story we just heard in the book of Acts? Have you ever heard this story about Pentecost, where people start speaking all kinds of different languages? Have you heard that before? Yeah. yeah? What do you know about that? Tell me about that story. Yeah. Emma. They were trying to build a tower to heaven, and God stopped them, so he made them speak something else. Yeah. 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 Yeah where we hear about the, the Tower of Babylon, right? And then that's another time where God, you know, brings, invites people to speak all these different languages and people are confused. But what about the story of Pentecost today? Do you know what it is that makes these people speak in different languages? Do you know what it is that makes that happen? Have you heard of the Holy Spirit? Yeah? Do you know that the Holy Spirit has ways of working in us and doing things that other people just can't even understand? Like speaking another language. In this story that we heard today, all of these people started speaking different languages. And you know what? Some people thought maybe they had too much communion wine. What's going on here? But... The truth of the matter is that the Holy Spirit was working in them. And today in my sermon, I'm going to talk about how the Holy Spirit is like breath in us. Do you guys breathe? Do you guys yeah. all breathe? Yeah? yeah? Okay, I hope so. That's, that's a good thing to check. I want to make sure you guys breathe. Do you ever think about your breathing? No. No? Yeah. It just kind of happens, doesn't I it? Do. You think about your breathing, Asher? Yeah. Well, that's good. So tell me what is involved in breathing. What kinds of things do you have to do? You have to, well, you have to, that's true. What does your body do, maybe, is the question I want to know. What does your body do when you breathe? You suck in the air, exactly. So let's all, like, suck in air right now. <gasps> okay, is that it? Are we breathing? What else do you have to do? And then you have to blow it out. Exactly. So breathing is like the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit comes into us like breath. But then we don't want to just hold on to it, right? Because what would happen if you just held on to your breath all the time? Do you know what would happen? You would die, exactly. Yeah. So we want to breathe out. And breathing out the Holy Spirit can look like a lot of different things. What are some of the ways that you feel like in your life you can be like breathing out the Holy Spirit to other people? What are some good things that you can do for others that are like taking the Holy Spirit into the world? What are some good things you can do? Donate to charities. Donate to charities. That's a great idea. What else? Yeah. I have a mom. I need, I need to tell you. Yeah, Emma, Emma raised her hand. What, what else do you think? Benefit runs or walks. Yeah, did you have an idea, Cecilia? Anybody else have an idea? What are some good things you can do? Yeah, Asher. I got a very specific example coming out. Something about wrapping someone in a coat and taking them to the doctor. It sounds like that is definitely a good thing to do in the, with the work of the Spirit, isn't it? Well, one of the things, yeah. Uh, I have one more. You could give away your clothes, absolutely. What about, 
and giving your toys to the homeless, that's a great idea. What about being kind to people? Is that something you can do? Yeah, Ruby. That's a great idea. You can, if somebody is being bullied, you can step in so that they're not bullied anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. Stand up for what's right. Yeah. And stand against what's wrong. Absolutely. Well, once again, the story that we heard today talks about how the Holy Spirit moves through us and moves throughout the entire world. And sometimes the Holy Spirit speaks in different ways. And I'm wondering, do you know that on most Sundays here, there are, there's more than one way of just hearing spoken English that people can understand the service? Yes. Have you ever paid attention to Rachel or any of our other ASL interpreters? Isn't it amazing that they help people to understand the service through what's called ASL or American Sign Language? I wonder, do you want to maybe learn some ASL this morning from Rachel? Do you think you could teach us something, Rachel? Okay. What if Rachel can teach us how to say, the Lord be with you? Ooh, let's, let's practice and follow her, okay? So we're making an L. Lord be with you. So let's all do that together. The Lord be with you. And then how do we say, and also with you? So this is like Y in ASL, and we go like this, and also with you. So let's practice that all together. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Awesome. Well, I hope you can continue to just watch out for the different ways that the Holy Spirit speaks and works through you, through love and kindness and standing up to bullies and all the different ways that the Holy Spirit works in us. Sound good? All right, let's pray together. The Lord be with you and also with you. God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit for us. Thank you for the ways that the Holy Spirit works through us to be your disciples, to love each other, to share forgiveness, and to do what is right in your eyes. We thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Amen. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Later during communion, you can come up, okay? Are we having communion? We are having communion. Asher's excited about communion today.